Come in. Come in. Come in. The house. Come in, please. The Come house. In, please. The house. Come in. Come in, little boy. The house. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid rags with you and it's up Corbin. I used to be a little boy. You can follow us on Instagram. It's more juicy content. It's so juicy. Bang! Really was a little boy knocking. It was Leland. Do you know? And today we are wrapping a video. It's called 13 Underrated Travel Places in India." Underrated thirteen. So I'm assuming it's not going to go over like the Taj. <laughs> no. <laughs> or like you know Mumbai or Goa. Thirteen. If it's underrated, underrated it's probably not any of those places. I bet. I bet there's going to be a place or two that we never knew. Hidden gems. I would hope so. We haven't done a, a travel video in a it's while. It's been a while. So uh, I do like seeing all the beautiful places, and there's a ton. Mm -hmm. The very diverse topography. Incredible. And cultural, just yeah. everywhere. It's amazing. So, here we go. Tourists always visit the Assam. most popular travel destinations in a country, but often your miss mom. out on the hidden gems, which are also worthy of your visit. Here is the list of top hidden places go. in India. <laughs> which you must visit. The Himalayas. Kumbhalgarh Fort. Kumbhalgarh Fort is one of the five hill forts of Rajasthan and it is 38 kilometers long. The second largest wall so after Rohan the Great Wall of China. The oh, fort is also channel. the birthplace of Maharana Pratap. That's not the Bhagavan one we went to, is it? Which is no. situated on top of the fort gives an amazing view of the entire Kumbhalgarh Wildlife Sanctuary. Prashar Lake. The Shah Lake is a crystal clear water situated about 50 kilometers north of Mandi. The lake has a floating island in it and its actual depth is unclear. It That's is cool. nestled with tall sadak trees and forms a perfect location for a farming vacation away from the hustle bustle of the city. It is also known as the bird's eye as when it is seen from above. Valley of Flowers Valley of Flowers is located in Chamoli district Badrinath of Uttarakhand. The Valley of Flowers is a high altitude Himalayan valley that has long been acknowledged by renowned mountaineers, botanists, and in literature. The Nanda Devi Basin uh. has a distinctive microclimate and conditions are Love generally that. dry with low annual precipitation. But there is heavy monsoon rainfall from late June to early September. Auli Auli, located in the northern state of Uttarakhand, is a new entrant in the tourist map of India in the cradle of snow-capped mountains. Like other hill stations, the bitter cold winds, the vast snow-covered landscape, the sylvan mountains, all add up to make Auli a skier's paradise. Skiers are naturally provided with clean stretches of 10 to 20 kilometers of snow-covered mountain slopes. Skiers, you definitely I, got a new place a for times. adventure. I enjoyed Bandi it. Kota and Belam Caves, the Grand Canyon of India. Bandikota is famously known as the Grand Canyon of India. Climbing rocks to the viewpoint will surely leave the tourists satisfied and awestruck. The sunset and sunrise is one of the best here, and this is the perfect time to stargaze with countless stars studded in the clear sky. What makes you not add big hidden gem to your list? Tawang. Tawang is known for many important and beautiful monasteries we did a video and about is Tawang. famous for being the birthplace of the sixth Dalai Lama, Tianyang Gyatso. The beautiful town has many sceneries to make the trip a picturesque one. You can mark this hidden gem on the list if you want that picture-perfect capture for your Instagram. Molinong is called God's Own Garden, which is located ah, oh, in Mihalaya. It was awarded the title of the cleanest village in Asia by Discover India in 2003. Uh, I want to go the here. waste is collected in dust go made here. of bamboo, directed to a pit, and then used as manure. Smoking and the use of polythene are banned, while oh. rainwater harvesting is encouraged. Molinong has pleasant weather throughout the year. Rainbow Falls. Uh. Rainbow Falls in Hilo is a good place oh, to jump into that. in the morning and tourists can see many rainbows. The Rainbow Falls are more easily accessible 
and it is possible to see the falls from very close as compared to the Akaka Falls. Secluded deep within the forest. Oh, little butterflies! Name because one will see a small rainbow near the waterfall due to the sun rays. Ever wondered such a majestic yeah. waterfall existed in the world? Oh. Marwante Beach. Whoa. Marwante Beach is one of the most beautiful beaches in the city of Karnataka. Standing on this calm and unspoiled beach gives a panoramic view of the wonderful creations of nature, oh, unending deep blue seas. Serene like he's the a little bit, the river, and majestic mountains crowning oh, the whole Oh, good scenery. night. I look like some Mississippi Delta. Visiting the Beach witnesses the beautiful sunset. Marjali Island. Marjali is a lush, green, environment-friendly, a pristine and pollution-free freshwater island. It is the world's largest river island and it attracts tourists from all across river the world. Island. This mystical island has a great self-identity with its rich culture and heritage. The next time you want to explore on the rich because of culture flooding and or heritage, probably. Yeah, the water add comes this in. place to your bucket list. Kutana. Oh. Kutana is the rice bowl of Kerala, being home to the green rice fields spread extensively, divided by dikes. Oh, look at that! Of meal on reclaimed lands every day, which is split up by small and big rivers and creeks. These streams are perfect for tourists to sail over and oh. soak in the absolute best the region has to offer in an hour long Vietnam, cruise on a houseboat right? or shorter Vietnamese. trips on canoes. Sailors, did you know about Can't this? Can't wait to go to Carolina. Baratan Island. Baratan Island, Where? also known as Ranchiwala's Island, is situated about 100 kilometers away from Port Blair. The island is well known for its mangroves, untouched beaches, mud volcanoes and limestone caves. Popular activities at Baratang include boating through the mangrove forests and limestone caves, light treks and hikes, and bird watching. So the next time you want to hide from the world, this is the place you must travel to. I would love to go. Lakshadweep Island. The name Lakshadweep literally means one lakh islands. Did you know that this island is made up of 12 atolls, 3 reefs and 5 submerged banks, Caribbean. out of which 10 islands are inhabited? Yeah, I want to go there. Lakshadweep tourism is primarily centered around water sports. The activities you can indulge in are scuba diving, snorkeling, parasailing, kayaking, glass bottom boat ride tours, fishing, deep sea fishing and water skiing. This hidden gem is perfect that looks for relaxing. beach lovers. So that looks... So guys, your the amazing list of hidden places in India comes to an end. Do let. <sighs> yeah, I want to go. Yeah, totally. <laughs> it feels like you could select a place in India to visit for a month every year. Oh yeah, and you would find something new to do every year of your life. Absolutely, because obviously. We've grown up in the United States our entire lives, and we've not seen the entire United States. No. India is, um, it's not as big as the United States, but it is a massive, massive country. <laughs> uh, in terms of, obviously, it's as long, it's longer than, I think, from Canada to Mexico. Yeah. I think it's, it's tip longer, tip is than, longer than the United States. Yeah. Uh, so, obviously, you know how much topography is different from Canada to Mexico. <laughs> it just shows you how much... Well, how different it's going to be all throughout. It continues to amaze me, and that was one of the first things that amazed, amazed me when we were reacting to travel videos in India was, of the stereotypes that we had, I, I had not the foggiest, remotest clue that the topography in the regions were so diverse. Absolutely not. Had no idea. I really genuinely thought, as I think most Americans do who've never traveled or seen it, that India is pretty much desert. the same deserty look everywhere you go. Yeah, that's all. It's really a sad assumption. Yeah, uh, but obviously it's not that. And there's not so many places all. I would love in the Northeast and the South and the, <laughs> everywhere, man. Uh, Rajasthan was gorgeous. We didn't get enough time to spend in in in, in Rajasthan or Punjab or there's so many gorgeous places uh, that that you could easily explore for months on end. Uh, yeah, makes me. So you, makes you have, I, do you have a choice to go? If you could go, and you had the money and the time to go do it. First place you go to visit, would you rather go to a place that's more mountainous and snowbound, or more coastal and ocean? In India, yeah, Kerala would be the place I would go. Yeah, 
I, I mean, wanted to. I, I mean, anywhere I, in the world, I'm going to choose the beach. Yeah, yeah. Kerala, it just it seems so unique and so beautiful. Uh, so that would probably be the first place I would I'd want to go. But obviously, Assam. Yeah, I absolutely. It's really so jungly and gorgeous. gorgeous and, yeah, uh, but then you got there's so much in Rajasthan we have not seen. There's so many big, massive forts no. just in Rajasthan, um, and so there's everything. But Kerala would be the first place I'd want to go um, if if the world was back to normal and and we had the money and the time and yet again. That was a great video. It lived up to the name. 13 underrated travel places, the majority of which we knew nothing about. I knew about that bridge. Yeah, I've seen, we've seen the nature bridges. We've seen the nature bridge. But there, there's a lot more islands than I thought. How many... Do y'all just have... There's there just a bunch of, like, in like in the Caribbean, is there a bunch of small little islands off the coast of India? Um, Looks like it. Yeah. We don't have a ton of those. We have a few. Um, but, like, there, we have one right off the coast of Los Angeles called Catalina. Nothing like that. Nothing <laughs> like that. It's not picturesque at all. No, it's just an island. That... It's literally a, just a, a, a tree-covered rock that just kind yeah, of... They put some bomb. resorts on. They put some resorts on. That's out in the middle of the Pacific. Not in the middle. Just a couple miles offshore from L.A. Yeah. So it's not as, not as cool. But obviously the Hawaiian Islands, there's a bunch of... Yeah. And then when you get in the, the, the South Atlantic area where you get past into the Caribbean and stuff... <sighs> but yeah, basically... into the Caribbean... I've been in the Virgin Islands. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been in that region. Uh, in the Virgin Islands. My dad was posted there for four years mm. in the Virgin Islands. Let us know what other Gorgeous. travel videos we should react to down below. <laughs> Look, <laughs> <laughs>